Hi guys, it's Sid, and welcome back. I am going out tonight. Do I have a drink? This feels better. So first things first, yes, I am sunburned. The thing about college is sometimes I feel like the getting ready to go out is more fun than the function itself. And maybe that's just sad. I was just getting ready the other day and I was like, why don't I actually like film me getting ready? Because it's sometimes really fun. I usually kind of start on my own and then my roommates usually join me and then I'm gonna actually vlog when I'm out tonight. So it's gonna be a whole experience. I have my makeup bag right here and here we go. Also, as I'm getting ready, I'm gonna talk about college stuff. I feel like I really could have used kind of like that bigger sister college figure when I was entering college. And maybe I can be that for some of you guys who are starting college. I went on my Instagram story and I asked you guys to ask me any college questions that you have. First question, what are the parties like? I think it really depends on what school you go to. I go to Chapman, which is a smaller private school. And obviously that's gonna look a lot different than if I were to go to a big state school like USC. At my school, the small school, I like it a lot better because when I go out, I really, like I feel like I know everyone versus at a big school where they have like a frat row and stuff. It's just a lot bigger of a party scene. I just get overwhelmed easily. And I remember when I went to USC a couple times, which is a big, big school, I felt like easily lost in the sauce. Also, there's like such a big difference between like frat parties and like going to the bars. I feel like freshman and sophomore years, like when a lot of people will go to frat parties, the second you turn 21, I just feel like that's the last place you wanna go. I would much rather go to a bar and like not be at a frat party where it's like everyone's sweaty, shoved next to each other. Is college better or worse than high school? This is such a good question because this is something I asked everyone when I was going to start college. For me, High school was really tough. I just kind of like put a lot of pressure on myself in high school to do the best academically. I also went to a high school that was honestly kind of academically competitive. Once you're accepted to college, there's almost like an alleviation of pressure a bit with the whole like college search, trying to get accepted to all of your top schools. Again, this is just my personal experience. I've also found it to be like easier in terms of like the academic workload. When you're in high school, you have class from like 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. But in college, you might have a schedule where you don't even have class like Tuesdays and Thursdays. You just really have so much more flexibility to make your own schedule. And if you manage your time well, I think academically it can be easier just because you have so much more time to get everything done. How do you make new friends at college? Luckily, I would say college is one of the easiest places to make friends. Because you're just surrounded by so many people that are your age, if you're in the dorms and you meet your neighbors, you can become friends with them. In class, you're gonna have tons of people your age. If you are struggling, I do think joining some sort of activity at school, whether it's like a sport or a club. I'm in a sorority, DG, and that helped me so much to get plugged in at school. So yeah, I will say that the opportunities are there, but you do need to take advantage of it at the same time. How to stay fit and not gain the freshman 15? Well, my experience with that I feel like is very different, kind of like went on the opposite end, unfortunately. Just make sure you're prioritizing your health because I think that's like the main reason why people lose or gain a lot of weight their first year. The stress of just a new environment, so many new responsibilities and things going on, you can kind of just like neglect your health. How hard is it to manage stress? The stress really comes with how much you take on, especially depending on your major and what you're studying. I was really stressed out when I was saying yes to way too many things that I shouldn't have been. And then once I learned to like say no to some things, it got better. Advice on frat boys. Oh no. This question is hard to see. Truly. My past experience with them, it has been anything but good. And I think that frat boys at the end of the day are in frats for a reason. And the reason is not to get a girlfriend usually. They're usually just trying to have fun. Just know that before you go into any sort of situation with a frat boy. Tips to find roommates as a transfer. What's actually so funny is my roommates and I actually found each other on Facebook. I know that's like the most random place to find roommates. We went on this Facebook housing site for Chapman. It just worked out. We both like wanted the same things. And then we got a house together. Facebook gave me two of like some of my best friends ever. Why did you join a sorority? I really joined for the social. My college life before joining the sorority and after was completely different. 
I just became so much more involved in everything and I met so many people. And what's kind of interesting is I was on the fence because I never considered myself as someone to join a sorority, but my friends were like, you know what Sid, you should just try it because you can meet some amazing people. And I'm so glad that I did because I've made so many of my memories and met friends through it. Do you get judged at school for having a YouTube channel? Honestly, not really. I feel like people here just don't care as much. In high school, being in a small town, people were so much more judgmental. I would say that's just like a big theme, honestly. In college, I feel like people just care a lot less about petty things, about like popularity. There's like really no such thing as like the popular people. I just remember in high school, there was like that group that was the cool group. In college, like no one cares because it's not that deep. It really isn't. Advice on how to boost your resume. I would say talk to your professors because I think that sometimes we forget that they have like actually a lot of connections and they can also help you with internships if you're trying to get an internship to add or they can even like reference you to someone. I think my roommates are gonna come in and we're gonna change into some cute fits. <laughs> hey guys. Oh wait, yeah, we should do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> we usually like to like do our part of getting ready together because it's fun that way. Yeah. Cheers. We've been planning this for a while, actually. Yes. We're gonna wear like graphic tees that have sassy things on them. <laughs> it's kind of pick me energy, but we don't mean it to it's be. It's not kind of, it is. But it's not our intent. But like at the end of the day, it's not pick me energy if you are picked. Anyways, we just think it'd be funny. <laughs> oh. We're seniors, I don't care what people think of me. Senior. I'm out of here in two months. If, when you get old, like things change. Yeah, things get old at 22. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be wearing the Do Not Disturb shirt. And feels like people will disturb me though. <laughs> yeah, and I will be wearing I Love My Attitude Problem. It's a classic. I'm gonna wear the I Heart to Make Boys Cry. Yeah. It's fitting. She loves making boys cry. Okay guys, we are ready. It is sassy, but I feel like we already are sassy, so it works. Denying um, is all about becoming a character and having tonight be a movie. So. Category? Horror. TBD. Oh. oh. Rome. Oh, bro. <laughs> and let's hope to Body. God it's not romance. <laughs> so we have our glitter in. <laughs> Ooh. Oh! Wait, wait that's, oh, that's so fun! Wow. Are you sure this is edible? Yeah. What if I drink it and like, I start like coughing up glitter? <laughs> then we know that you're having a good time. Cheers! Cheers! Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> so we're on our way. Sammy the driver. <laughs> That's and it. We are the backseat. <laughs> <laughs> so we are at the district. <laughs> so Sammy. Wow. Okay, Sabrina Carpenter. <laughs> so where are the cute guys? I don't exist anymore. Reset. 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 That was Lakers, oh. not like. And he's hitting. He's hitting. He's staring at you. <laughs> it's 12 right now, and we're getting Starbucks because I feel like that's what you have to do after a night out. So it's like true. revival. It really, people need to like understand like the way that a pink drink revives you after. A night I was getting out. a strawberry like, like, after this. Like, also, you debrief. Always crucial. So. I, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shout out. What is he doing? He seems like me. Why is he wearing the same outfit? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you. See, who was that guy um, that brought you to the um, date party or whatever it's called? <laughs> Remember that time I, me and my friend saw him? And I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. And she was like, yeah, his name's <laughs> I was like, I know that name. Oh my yes. god, I literally feel like my life has been put back into my body. They yeah. put their whole star pussy in this. <laughs> <laughs> 